Hey everyone, this is Ross, and uh, we just got our first light frost here in the Philadelphia area, and I wanna talk to you guys about what that means for our fig trees. Right here is actually some leaves. This tree here got hit by that light frost a couple days ago, and you can see the different discoloration, the brown, the lighter green, the, uh, the outside of the leaves here are curling upwards and are pretty much dried up. You can see this leaf right here is a pretty good, uh, example and once we get a harder frost all these leaves are gonna look like that um, some of them you know mainly show a little bit of damage here or you can see like on this leaf here this is only partially showing some damage but for the most part it was such a light frost that these trees and the leaves are really almost mostly unaffected um, and it is still my recommendation I, I really do hope you guys heed my advice here is that you really should be waiting to do anything to these trees until they get hit with a few frosts, two or three. Definitely you need a hard frost. That hard frost is going to really get these trees completely defoliated and it's gonna really put them into that dormancy stage. They're really gonna send their sap flow down out of the wood into the roots. And from there you can then start root pruning. You can do some pruning uh, of the wood and you can put them away for the winter time for good. One thing that I have noticed after this recent frost, yesterday I picked some really tasty figs. I was shocked. And um, it was some black Madeira and also some improved Celeste. And what I'm noticing out here today is that a lot of them after this recent frost that we had are actually really starting to dry up on the tree. At least it, it looks like that. And from what I can tell, this frost with a lot of fruits and a lot of food and a lot of vegetables, the frost can change things. And I think it's really speeding up the ripening here of some of these figs. Um, it certainly does that with persimmons. And my persimmon tree out in the front of the yard, I think did get hit with a little bit of frost. The fruit may not have, but when the fruit gets hit with a frost with the persimmon, um, it really speeds up that ripening and a lot of the persimmons at once will start to become soft and it's actually not a good thing um, if that's not something you want to happen, right? So it's, it's a good idea that if you're trying to have persimmons or figs for a longer period of time, pick them before the frost and they can extend their, their life and you can eat them over a wider period of time. But for me, I think getting any sort of fig at this point is a good thing. And this actually helps a lot of these figs uh, actually become ripe, where as before they really weren't, and because it was so cold, it was taking them quite a while before they would become ripe. I'm gonna go over a couple figs here and just show you what some of these look like. Because I, just, I, do, I do find it very interesting to see what that frost has actually done to these. And I'm just overall very surprised. Here's a really nice looking cavalieri and um, a lot of these will have very bitter skin and the skin's very tough but the pulp's probably quite good so yeah it is it's a little a little low on the bricks content it's not that sweet but it is still pretty good there's some others here that Maybe we'll have some potential on a lot of these. Kind of we're just not really doing a whole lot until that frost came in. It was just too cold in the last few days. Here's a Detrasis place, a very late Detrasis place. Not bad. Here is a uh, more of that frost that I'm telling you guys about. This side looks completely unaffected for the most part because the fig was hanging this way. And this, this side here was exposed, I think, more to that frost. And you can really see that, like, almost like it's drying up on the, on the uh, tree. It's starting to shrivel a little bit. And if I cut this open, I bet it looks pretty damn good inside. Yeah, so um, that's just, you know, one of them things, guys. One of those weird little interesting things I didn't think many people knew and i didn't know until this year i'm excited to learn this 
and it kind of just means good things for in-ground trees and how our season can really be extended quite a bit. So that's really cool. Hope you guys uh, learned something here, you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you all soon. Again, don't do anything crazy to your trees until that hard frost comes in and really defoliates everything. All right, we'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.